In this video, we will be studying the effect of shift in supply. See, your shift in the supply curve is due to the other factors than price. So let's see what happens if there is shift in supply curve. This is your quantity. This is your price. You are at your equilibrium when your demand is equal to your supply. Right? This is the price, this is the quantity, and this is the equilibrium, this is the supply curve, and this is your demand curve. Now, let's see the effect of shift in supply. If your supply increases, say S1, what will happen? With the increase in the supply, your quantity, sorry, this is, uh, this is your decrease in the supply, this is not increase in the supply. When your supply decreases, that is your leftward shift to the supply. So your supply decreases, what will happen? your price increases at E1 and this is your new quantity that is Q1. Now if your supply increases that is the rightward shift of the supply curve. Now what happens? Your Quantity supplied will increase and your price will decrease to P2. So this will be your new equilibrium point. So this is the effect of shift in the supply. See if your supply increases, your quantity of supply increases, there is a lot of supply in the market. People are not there to buy the product. What will happen? The supplier has to reduce the prices. So the price from P comes down to P2. And if your supply is decreased in the market, means there are a large number of buyers, those who might want to buy your product, but there is no supply of the product in the market. What will happen? It will ultimately increase the price of your commodity. So this is the effect of shift in your supply curve. With the increase in the supply, your price decreases in the market and if your supply decreases, your price increases in the market. It's the effect. Don't confuse the effect with the law of supply as your law of supply says with increase in supply your price increases with decrease in supply your price decreases. That was in the part of an individual producer. Now we are talking about its effect that what will happen in the market if your supply increases or decreases, right? Now let us understand the chain effect due to shift in the supply curve. Now there is rightward shift in the, this is your graph, this is your quantity price, your initial demand, your initial supply, your equilibrium point here, your quantity of equilibrium and your price. Now there is increase in supply which means your rightward shift of the supply curve, right? Now your rightward shift of the supply curve is now your supply is greater than your demand. If your supply is greater than demand, what will happen? The people are not demanding your product and you have a lot of stock to sell. So the supply is greater than demand. What the producer will do? They will reduce the price. So it will have a pressure on the price to get reduced. So your price get reduced. Right? See. 
from here your supply was initially here this is the stage one that your supply has increased right at q2 let's say but your equilibrium quantity is at here q1 and p1 this is your new equilibrium how come you have achieved this equilibrium see your supply has increased if your supply is increased this put the pressure on the price to get reduced the price got reduced so if the price got reduced your demand curve there was in there was an extension of your demand curve right your demand curve extended from this point to this point now if the price reduces your demand increases according to law of demand now if the price is reduced so what will happen the supplier will be willing to sell less and less so there will be less supply according to the law of supply the there will be a contraction in the supply from this point to this point that is the new equilibrium one so in this we are having the extension of demand and simultaneously we have contraction of supply both these cases happen when your price decreases so this is your chain effect if there is increase in the supply similarly if you get the question of decrease in supply which means your supply has decreased your price is increased at this case what will happen your price is increased it will affect the supplier to sell more so there will be a chain effect the supply will start selling more there will be an extension of supply and the contraction of demand just because with the decrease in the supply curve your price increase have increased so this is how you can you have explained the increase in supply you can also explain your decrease in supply in which what will happen there will be extension of supply and contraction of demand due to price rise and you will have the equilibrium somewhere here if your it is reduced right you will have your equilibrium here at point e2 your price p2 and your quantity so this is the chain effect and the effect of shift in supply please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us